Hello, so I'm going to be showing you how I am making this 19th century Bridgerton style wig. Um, I have this wig already, which is just a plain old, I think it's a bit curly actually, I've not seen it for ages. Let's take a look. And there's a bow in there from last time. Oh yeah, it's just been tied back a little bit. So it's still a little bit curly, but I think we do want the curls to be a bit more tighter than that but we'll see what we're going with it is lace front um but it's only a small lace front, so it doesn't go too far back um but yeah we're going to be working with this and i'm going to be using some pictures as well for this reference obviously from bridgerton and stuff like that um and yeah let's see how it goes Okay, so as you can see, I've just brushed the wig now, and it's quite nice. It's actually a lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's been sat in that bag for God knows how long. Um, but it's extremely thick. I'm not sure if I want to cut it, but I, can, I think I might just leave it. Mm, I've not decided that bit yet. But um, it's still very curly. I'm going to do some pinning up bits and curl some of the higher bits, maybe cut some layers in, stuff like that, um, and then just see how it looks. So, yeah, let's just crack on. Okay, so I did this last night, so I put all the curls in and then pinned them up and left them overnight. Um, these are what they look like once they've come out, so they're nice and pinky curls. And um, I'm just going to unpin the rest of these and then start doing the other side and then we're going to leave that again for another like 24 hours or some, around about that time, just to let the curls cool down and set as well, so yeah. Okay, so I'm just showing you here um, the two opposite sides, the sides that I've curled which is a bit frizzy and messy and then the other side which I haven't touched which is still quite straight and long. Um, for this bit I'm just showing you how I did the curls in the first place which was using a curling wand. Um, I guess you're supposed to use kind of like a medium heat on synthetic hair so it doesn't melt but I just used the hottest and then I just pinned them up on the hair and left it to dry. So once I'd taken all the curls out, I then put the wig on, um, which was giving me mega Captain Hook vibes. Um, so to try and get rid of that look, I just started putting some bubbles in the top to kind of give it a bit more of a height. Um, and then I started pu pulling some little baby hairs down and tucking it to the back and sticking loads of bobby pins in. Okay, so this is the finished look. It's a little bit less like Captain Hook now, um, but I've just cut in the baby hairs and just sprayed it down with hairspray, so they should not be going anywhere. Um, I've put hairspray all over the whole thing, so it should all be intact. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I've just pinned bobby pins absolutely everywhere and spread it to death with hairspray, so it should be moving. And this is the look. I did put a little bit of makeup on just to make it a little bit more, kind of like, ta-da, final look. Um, but yeah, kind of happy with it. Um, I think it's going to look really good when I have the costume on. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start making the costume now and then we'll put the look together at the end. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!